how to en uh, enable XMP. Now, what I've done is I've done a scenario where you've just bought your system and you powder on and you're like, wow, frame rates ain't that well. is to put it into your perspective so we'll click the button the power button now you want to press delete on your keyboard to enter the motherboard's bios two thousand years later and it will come kind of, right so this is the standard uh this is the standard look on my bios now, I have got the X570 Gaming Pro Carbon from MSI. So, now, this is me putting it into a perspective where I've just bought my system. I've opened it. I've not had the best performance. And that's it. Now, a lot of motherboards come with a XMP mode by here, which you click on Profile 1 or Profile 2. Now, what I'm going to do is you can click that to put in put on XMP but what I'm going to do is actually go to memory and as you can see that is the default for this RAM it is 2066 megahertz standard out of the box now my dims are 3600 megahertz which you can see from right here and they ain't running at that speed so what would I do now a normal perspective person would see this by your AXMP and just click on. It will automatically change the defaults from 2066 to 3600 megahertz. Or what you can do is go to advanced, go to OC. Now this is specifically for this motherboard. Now, if you click by here AXMP, now we'll tell you by here which what your memory settings are, your the CLL, the frequencies, everything. Now at the moment it's got DFRAM. DRAM frequency at auto. It's got adjusted DRAM frequency at 2666. So, what you want to do is where it says AXMP in advanced settings is click this and you've got two profiles. Not all motherboards come with more than one profile, but what you do is you click that, done. Now, that will come up there. As you see, it came from, went from 2666 to 3600 megahertz. Now, a lot of people will like you know just things and all that type of stuff but this is just enabling xmp for your ram so that's that now as you can see the frequency was that so what we do is we go to save configuration motherboard will reset it might turn off sometimes uh if it's a brand new system it might with ryzen um it all depends on what system it is some XMP enablizing does restart the system itself or it will automatically restart and go straight into BIOS, uh, straight into the operating system, which for my case is Windows 10. So, there we go. Right, so that's that. And we go like that. Right. So, we're on the desktop. Now, from any other, anyone's perspectives now, as far as your concern it's gone straight to xmp profile one well there's a there's a few um software based apps you can download one is hardware monitor now that one will give you a specific detailed information on your ram as such as the frequency the speed the um the voltage everything now what we can do is this is free this is in every windows operating system you right click on the tab at the bottom and click task manager now what task manager will do it will pop up like this and you want to go to performance click on your ram and right there 3600 megahertz that is xmp enabled inside your motherboard bios right so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped. The first video I did, I kind of rushed it. But this time, I actually went straight for defaults on my system to show you a proper workthrough. So, 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And also, don't forget to check us up on welshytech.co.uk as well as my uh, my page on Facebook, which I do upload, as well as um, future video content. I do upload some previews, but not all the time. So, this is Richard Welsh Tech. Goodbye.